a mask transition. So you may, may have seen these sort of things in films from Edgar Wright, such as Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, where basically a person or an object passes in front of the screen and then it reveals a totally new shot. Um, I've applied this to a lot of my work over the, well, over many years really, and it's, it's very simple to do. It takes a little bit of time, but it is better than adding one of these very generic whoosh transitions or zoom tra transitions which everyone seems to use these days. So just to give you a quick example, here is a few shots from our weddings where someone has just walked by the shot and we've managed to put a transition mask in so it reveals a totally new scene. And it's a little bit more stylized effect than a, a dip or a fade where you, you're showing a, a jump in time or location. So we have uh, a nearly completed uh, wedding edit, um, bar grading and, and sound design. So on this particular scene here, the bridesmaid is applying a makeup and we have somebody walking past camera. Not a problem. I always like to use it as an opportunity to use, uh, add one of these transition effects because at this particular point in the edit, the father of the bride just started speaking. Uh, and he comes in a little bit later on, so I want to transition from this to this seamlessly using a mass transition. So we're going to hide it behind this person. Okay? So, we're going to find our starting point, which is... So, when we start walking from the right, we're going to go frame by frame. As soon as you see the empty space behind them, that's our first point. So, which is there. So, okay, so this is the empty space here. So, that's going to be filled with the next scene so we're going to cut there i'm going to find the end point which is when they completely disappear off screen which is there okay so we'll get rid of all that you can either cut it or drag it across it's up to you however you work and then i'm just going to cut every individual frame i think there's about five or six so it's not going to take too long sometimes someone walking past camera might take up 20 frames so it'll take you a little bit longer uh, but this is a pretty quick walk by so it'll be easy to explain so we are going to mosey on over to the effects control panel under opacity choose the uh, free draw pen tool and leave yourself enough space around the uh, monitor because you are going to be drawing outside it and follow this line which is the edge of the person the, it is quite blurred because they are very near camera um, which make, does actually make it easier for uh, for a more a, a smoother line because harsh lines do stick out quite a lot so start outside and loosely try to keep just inside the line really follow it around using points where it just start to bend and then come around the back of the screen join them together and straight away it's sort of already cropped out the wrong side so if it all depends on which side you, if it does crop out the wrong side just go to inverted press that and it will obviously crop out the side that you want now it's important to feather it the feather is here underneath the mask path so again i mentioned i don't like harsh lines so i like to put a lot of feather into mine so i'll probably go around about 100 doesn't have to be perfect so actually i'm probably going to go 120 nearly okay so that's if we just move on to the next one so that's the first mask okay it's nice and smooth okay so we're going to do that for each frame so that's first frame second frame again so click actually click onto the frame when you're doing it it's exactly the same thing it's that you're following the line a little bit further on now and down the round the back join them up inverted feather to approximately 120 and then click on to the next one and literally going from one scene to another but literally that's it. Ready, Kate? You look beautiful. <laughs> Today of all days.
And, and this sort of effect can be used not just on people, but things like uh, vehicles passing in front, uh, or if you're sort of on a gimbal and you're going through a room, you can use a wall to sort of transition the same. Uh, you can do the same with text, as you can see here. If you have found this useful, then please hit the subscribe button or like. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Bye for now.